here is a little update on my Starlink dish over there. It is on my boat. The reason I got the Starlink dish is because the internet in France uh, doesn't work well with mobile broadband. Um, it was okay in the UK, but it's very expensive here. So that wasn't going to work. I'm also a bit of a nerd and I wanted to try it because as you can see, I'm just here in a marina and it's very nice. I'm in the middle of France and the boat is not moving very much. So the Starlink dish works very well. I get about 200, sorry, just a train going by. I get about 200 megabytes per second down and about 30 up. Um, and it works great. I'm not going to use the Starlink dish when I'm moving the boat. I don't want to watch Netflix when I'm going down the river. That would be silly. So I'm not going to do that. Um, it's also mounted on top of a radar dish. That doesn't matter. It's okay. I don't use the radar when I'm on the river here. So, so thanks for your comments on Reddit and Facebook, but I don't think you guys are thinking things straight. Um, I use the dish when I'm at a marina and it works great. Also, if you don't have a dish and you haven't moved around with it, your opinion doesn't really matter because it does work when you move. It's an upgrade. I know you think it won't, but I've moved from Paris, where it was originally um, originally scheduled to be delivered at, and I installed it, uh, to uh, this place. Is, it's called Chartres, and it's uh, about 65 kilometers this side, south of Paris. And it took about 30 minutes to upgrade the... Uh, you go to the website, you type in the new service address, it sends it off, the dish goes quiet for a bit, um, and then goes... It, basically, I had it turned off when I got here. And so when I turn it back on again, it goes into a flat position. It's a phased array, so it doesn't need to point at a satellite. It goes flat, it starts looking around the sky, finds out where the satellites are, and then it orientates itself in the best way. Um, as you can see, there's some trees over there, but they're too low to matter. And the dish uh, is working great. So. I don't know quite why there's so much negative comment on it, but it works great. It costs about a hundred euros a month, but I was paying about 150 euros a month and getting about, I don't know, between 12 and 20 megabytes per second. If I'm in a marina, then I do have free internet at some marinas, um, the bigger ones, uh, but it's slow and it depends where you are in the marina. So again, this works really well. Uh, marinas tend to be in big open spaces, so I don't think there's gonna be much of a problem um, with like big buildings nearby. Um, if I'm parked at a harbor somewhere and there's swell coming in and the boat's moving around too much, I'm not expecting it to work. But most days that's not true. And on the river, it's certainly not true. So uh, I hope that answers a few of your questions. If you have any polite questions and don't just think I'm an idiot, which a few of you do, and I might be, but if you, if you ask some polite questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, in the meantime, uh, it's, it's wonderful here in France. The people have been so nice and so friendly um, I'm not in any hurry. I'm on my way south. You can follow me on the YouTube channel if you want, but if you don't, I don't care. That's fine. All good. Um, but yeah, uh, the boat, by the way, is a, a Birchwood TS-37. It is 37, 38 foot long, 11.23 uh, meters, has a air draft of 
uh, I don't know, three point something to about here, but that arch goes down if I go into low bridges. If I'm going out to sea, I will take that dish off. And this is only temporarily, it's got freaking gaffer tape up there, or well, duct tape. So it's only a temporary mount anyway to see if it works, proof of concept. It does work, so I'm going to mount it up there permanently, but it'll look a little bit better. Um, yeah, Birchwood TS 37, it's got two 225 horsepower um, Merc Cruiser uh, engines going through um, straight stern drive, not stern drives, uh, shaft drive. Uh, does about 20 knots full speed and it's my home. I, I live here. I'm not rich. Um, I can afford to buy the boat because I don't own a home. A house, rather. Uh, I own this. And I love it. I really like living here um, on the boat. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for listening to me ramble. Have a good day. Bye-bye.